Most mobile users may not be aware that the Subscriber Identification Module card, a tiny piece of plastic with a circuit board embedded on it, may soon disappear from smartphones altogether. In its place, a digital version known as Embedded SIM or simply eSIM is gaining popularity in Malaysia. With an eSIM, a smartphone user no longer has to purchase the physical version to gain access to a mobile network service. All one has to do is register for a line through the eSIM app. Adoption of the eSIM is expected to record a compound annual growth rate of 30% in the next five years. 10T Tech CEO Frederick Lilström sees this as good news. Citing data from CounterPoint Research, he told FMT Business that Southeast Asia accounts for roughly 6-7% of the global consumer eSIM market. Lilström expressed confidence that the technology will replace physical SIM cards in smartphones within the next five years. The eSIM offers greater convenience to users, especially when used alongside multiple international mobile subscriber identities, a technology that enables users to automatically access the most optimized and affordable mobile networks while traveling abroad. With eSIM and multi-IMSI technology, users will no longer have to worry about data plans, enabling them to travel hassle-free. Even for regular users who do not travel abroad often, there are advantages to using the eSIM, such as having flexibility over data and network plans. What's more, users can have multiple eSIMs in their phones for multiple purposes. Lilström said all the major carriers and mobile virtual network operators in Malaysia have been offering eSIM options for three years now, but with the deployment of 5G technology more recently, he expects the adoption of eSIM technology to pick up pace.